Welcome, welcome, welcome to Champs Corner. I'm coming to you live, hoping all is having a great day. And basically, I'm coming to you talking about one of the best players probably to ever grace the course of the NBA. But a lot of people don't know this man. A lot of people don't really understand how good or how great he was because he died. He had a heart embolism. So basically, just like if you know Hank Gathers, Hank Gathers had something like the same, I guess you can say the same heart problem, you know. And one thing about this man is, other than Hank Gathers and other than, I guess you can say, Len Bias, we got to see Reggie Lewis and what he could do. Reggie Lewis, and I'm a big-time Bulls fan. Everybody know I'm a Bulls fan who, who know me. Big-time Bulls fan. MJ, GOAT, period. There's no conversation. But I do recognize greatness. And I understand that when Reggie Lewis was playing, he gave the Bulls the utmost problems. The utmost problems. I mean, every time we played the Bulls, he will give MJ numbers. It's really not a time that I really can think about when he didn't give MJ numbers. He didn't give the Bulls numbers. He played D. As you can see, he was terror. He was a terror going to the basket. He was a terror on the defensive end. He was just a terror at all points. As you see this on the defense, boom. Defense, long arms. He was 6'7". Pull up jumper. Hang in the air. Money. As you see, he under the basket, he can do. Reggie Lewis could do. Give me that. Reggie Lewis could give anybody he was playing against whatever he wanted. Whatever he wanted, he could do on that court. To me, Reggie Lewis was probably one of the, I guess you could say, as a Bulls fan, he was one of the scariest players that I saw. Because I know eventually he was going to have them them Celtics running, running. They was humming. I mean, Bird Bird was getting old. You know, Parrish was getting old. McHale. So he was the young dog. So imagine, just imagine people, if Reggie Lewis, and I don't know because Lynn Bias was drafted before so I mean imagine this imagine if Lynn Bias could play with Reggie Lewis that was what that is what we was looking at Lynn Bias rest in peace he passed away of course but Reggie Lewis came after that so I mean I don't know you know Lynn Bass could have got him in a in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a in a out of the lottery so I'm I'm pretty sure that it's possible that they wouldn't have got Reggie Lewis but it's possible that they could have too so imagine that duo up against the Bulls that woo I'm just saying. But as far as Reggie Lewis goes, as you can see, he was smooth. He had all the tricks. I mean, pull-up jumper. That pull-up jumper, people sleep. Because, you know, uh, Curry got every the NBA and the whole nation wanted to shoot threes. But in the 19, in the 19, 1980s and 1990s, it was the pull-up jumper. You know why? Because the pull-up jumper is points. 
It's points. You know what I'm saying? You you want points. And points was hard to come by back in the 80s and 90s. Hard to come by. So you better get your points when you can. That well, Look at that. That first step was crazy. That first, he had one of the best first steps. Because he had step and pull up. Step and pull up. Who is doing that right now? Who is doing that right now in the NBA? Damn near nobody. DeRozan, do it, he do it every now and then. It's a lot of players that don't do it. But when a go out there and shoot threes all day, clanging and clanging and clanging. And, but all you need is shoot the two. Believe me, enough tools to get you to 50. And if you got a little, if you got a little jumper, what'd you think the two's gonna get? If you can shoot the three, you gonna get them up, pump fake them, they gonna fly past you, step in for the two. Money. Pump fake. That's money. All of us money. All of us money. Reggie Lewis was one of the best players ever. I'm saying that in his short time. In his short time. One of the best players ever. Because I know for a fact, if he could do this in his short time, he was a good passer too. What you think Reggie would have did when he got mature? And he got his he got he he got his grown man shit on. Reggie, I'm just saying, there's not a lot that you could really say that he didn't have in his game. Playing with Larry Bird and Persh. That ain't do nothing but make him big. Gotta think about it. He played with Larry Bird. So what you think his shooting game was about to be like? He was just uh I mean the one of the one of the most th- one of the most incredible things that I hate, you know, about death is unfinished business. That's what I call it. You know, this is an unfinished business series because this right here is a player who had unfinished business on the court. He could do whatever he wanted to he wanted to do against whoever. And then he could he could literally stop you on the defensive end. Everything he did had a purpose. Everything he did had a purpose. No wasted movement. Boom, boom. Got him. No wasted movement. One thing you have to admire about Reggie Lewis is he came from greatness. One of the best high school teams ever assembled led by Muggsy Bowles Wingate out of Baltimore one of the greatest high school teams ever look it up look up Reggie Lewis and he was think about it is he wasn't even the starter at one time on that Baltimore uh, on that Baltimore team look it up and see how great that that team was but the thing about it is, and that's the thing that you know he was going to be great. He was coming off the bench on that team. But as soon as he had a chance to get better and grow, he became the starter and became the man. What do you think Reggie Lewis was going to do in time with the, with the Boston Celtics? I mean, that was against MJ right there. 
What do you think he was going to do in time? All he needed was time. That's all he needed. He was really dogging cats. It didn't matter who it was. He knew how to play the game. Give up the ball to Larry Bird. Cut. Get the ball back. Lay up. That's just knowing how to play the game. So you add knowing how to play the game with somebody who's athletic, who can shoot, who plays D. Man, everything we everything that you want in a player Reggie Lewis had. The only thing you didn't know if he had, and only thing that time will tell is the dog. Only reason we know MJ had the dog in him is because time tell, told it. Time told it. You can see him when he got hurt in the second season. He came back and scored 63 on the Celtics. He led the, he led the during, uh, uh, Bulls to the playoffs. So you see... Only controversy and, 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 and losing and stuff like that can tell you who got the dog in them. But only thing we see here is we know he was a great player. Unfinished business. Sad to say, man. Look at that. He was he he was everything that you wanted in a player. Everything that you wanted to play. He is six seven. He's six seven. Running around like mother and Clay Clay uh 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 Clay Thompson or or or, uh, or Curry. Six seven. Look at this. Elo Elo was fouling them every step of the way. But he's like, what? I'm going to get you. Oh, spin. Fade. Doherty. Get out of there. He had everything. That's one thing that when I was watching Reggie Lewis playing up against my Bulls, the thing that I realized that he had was basically... He didn't need the ball. He didn't need to have, he didn't need to be dribbling all the time. He could run around, spot up. He was spotting up when people weren't even really spotting up back then. As far as six, seven, six, eight. Defense, give me that. That's defense. And then get back down there and what you got? What you got? Face up. Fade. Boom. He was, Reggie Lewis was cold. He was cold, man. <laughs> it really, it really was nothing that I could really, you could really say about Reggie. All he needed was time. And man, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad when you think about it because you couldn't see his full greatness. His full greatness. I mean, think about it. What you see right here. If this not his full greatness, what you think he would? This is only like three years, three to four years in. So imagine at year six or seven or eight when he's like 30, I mean, when he's like 27, 28 years old. What you think he would have been doing? Those Bulls and Celtic matchups would have been the price of admission. More than the price of admission. Look at that. 
get to a spot and just rise. This man can just get to a spot, rise, and it's money. It's money. Man. I'm just saying, Champ's Corner. Unfinished business. Reggie Lewis.